Box two. Box is back with another video. Pala, Firms, what are we doing today? Varvar, -var, today we are seeing which duo for Pala or Var Millie has the best ball knowledge of the top five leagues. We are gonna take turns going around our specially crafted board of top five leagues. We're essentially trying to get all the league tokens. First one to get all five wins the competition. And once you win your league token, you drop it in your team box. Since Var Millie won the last team challenge, we will let you guys start. Millie, go ahead, roll that dice. Let's go. 12. We got 12. That's, that's I have good. I have a slight feeling that's La Liga token. What are the chances? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No way. We get our first chance at a token. On the first roll, let's go. One nil lead. I have a tough question for you guys. It's a little bit complicated, so you're you're ready to pay attention. I'm ready to go, Paolo. Let's go. Vamos. How many La Liga and Europa League trophies has Diego Simeone won at Atletico? Is it A, one La Liga and two Europa? Is it B, two La Liga, one Europa? Or two La Liga, two Europa? Or is it three La Liga, one Europa? Definitely uh, just one, one Europa. One Europa? Am I missing? Am minimum. I okay, I'll tell you what it is. Minimum two La Liga, one Europa. That's minimum. I'm, I'm trying to think when his second La Liga was. Uh, he won one like around 2016, 2015, like 17. Around there when we, they, were, they were in CL finals every yes. year. And he won one during around COVID. Man, I don't remember that at all. I feel like I'm bringing you guys back to school with the multiple choice questions. And I like how Vavar said, he said a minimum. Mm -hmm. He's like, this is the minimum. We've narrowed it down to two La Ligas or three La Ligas, but definitely one Europa. Millie, I'm going to leave it up to you. On, I'm... I can't justify a third. I can't think of him winning a third La Liga. I'm going to go two La Liga. Anja? On Europa. Anja. Anja. Interesting thought process, guys. But they, they just, they completely overlooked on the fact that Diego Simeone might have won two Europa Leagues. 2011, 2017, the correct answer was C. So two La Liga, two Europa. The I, weird part is that I forgot the 2017 one. I knew about the 2011 one. I was thinking the 2017 one. Oh, Millie, we should have spoken about this. Oh, we're cooked. If you guys would just mention the years to each other, you would have been good. I remember Sergio Aguero winning that Europa, I'm pretty sure. It's a shame, man. Off to a rough start today. They got it wrong, so, uh, so it's our turn. It's our chance to shine. Seven. Seven. Uh, it's going nowhere. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And purple is Premier League. So the ball is in my court, a Premier League question. Vavar, hit him with it. Which of these players joined Man City from Celta Vigo? Is it A, Negredo, B, Jesus Navas, C, Ferran Torres, or D, Nolito? Initially, Jesus, let's go one by one. Let's Jesus go one Navas? By one, yeah. uh, Sevilla. Went to Sevilla City, back to Sevilla. Exactly. And then there's uh, Ferran Torres, yeah. Valencia. Valencia. Now at Barca. Um, who else? Now we're between Negredo and Nolito. Nolito. The very similar names in my head. And very similar players too. Yeah. Um, Nolito is kind of speaking to me though. It's talking to me too, but he could be on the wrong shoulder, you know, like the angel and the devil. Um, who was Pep targeting in this day? Nolito. You think Nolito? <laughs> I mean... I like the name. Yeah, I like it too. Okay. I think we're going to go with Nolito because he has a cool name. Lock it in, Varvar. I don't know what they were saying, the, comparing apples to oranges there, but somehow they got the question right. It is Nolito. You guys get to go with that. You, you guys <laughs> overthink this thing too much. It's about which name you like more. <laughs> I cannot believe we are playing against some... We name like their merchants. name. Yeah, we like their, their name, name merchants. merchants. Next roll. Five. Oh, oh not bad. Four, five. Oh, no. We're just getting lucky, all kinds. They hit us with the Diego Simeone question right off the bat. Varvar, lay it down on him. We're going to give you a Diego Simeone question too. Which of these players never was Atleti's top goal scorer in a La Liga campaign? Was it A, Griezmann, B, Correa, C, David Villa, or D, Diego Costa? All legends of the sport. Okay, here's my thought process. Griezmann 100% was. Yeah. Diego Costa, I have the feeling he was. Feelings? We, we did that oh, on the first one. I'm not doing it again. Weren't, so... Now, um, Correa is, is a sneaky one. He is stinky. I, I don't, I, Very stinky. I don't, I don't see why he would be a top scorer. I don't know either. And but then why throw it in? That's why. What about David Villa? This man was a legend of the sport. 
but he wasn't at Atletico. Atletico David Villa seems to be disrespected way too much. He was still a baller. <sighs> Firms. Yep. Last time a name spoke to us. And you know what's speaking to me this time? Who? <laughs> David Villa. He's speaking to you? Yeah, because I just don't see him. In my mind, I don't see him being good at Atletico. At Atletico. Well, like we know amazing. Barca. I don't see him being amazing at Atletico. It's true. Um, but I, I don't know. You, what do you guys think about that answer? Uh, listen, we just need you guys to lock it in because we'll give you the correct answer right after. So we might just do that, Millie, and we'll lock it in. David Villa. David Villa and Millie, you're not going to have to correct me. That's the correct answer. Vavar, hit him with it. Um, the, the David Villa was the correct answer. You guys collect your first league token. Oh, no. We take those. We take those. Put it straight in the box. And we get to go again. The one nil lead is the most difficult lead to keep. Wait till Fergie time, Varva. Unless you're Brentford versus Manchester United. Let's go. Back to back, please. Three. Oh, so close. They will be getting a league earn question. League earn? Mmm. -hmm. Oh, Little do you know that I've been following League Earn since its inauguration in the 1900s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's, uh, I, w I, w I went to watch the first game in... Uh, Name me one player. <sighs> you got me. <laughs> Barbara, what's the question? Boys, here is your League Earn question. Out of these clubs, who has won League Earn the most? Is it A, Bordeaux, B, Monaco, C, Lyon, or D, Lille? Let me, let me just check. Let me ask, uh, let me phone my League Earn specialist. Yeah, where's the, the League Earn specialist that we have? You don't have a mental database of all of League Earn's history? Come on, man. Varvar, how many League Earns has not won? Three. Uh, Pretty sure. One, one over what Millie says. If, if this was, a, they would put this in a hard category if it was like Bordeaux. Yeah. So it has to be between the other three. You think? If they did Bordeaux, then it's just stupid because that's supposed to be a hard question. There's no way that's common knowledge. While they're thinking, make sure you like, subscribe, and click that bell notification we post every single week. We've run our database pala here and uh, I don't know, it was we, inconclusive, I'd say. We don't think it's Bordeaux because that would be a ridiculously hard question yeah. for like for an easy square. Yeah. Lil just seems like they haven't won too much because... Historically, Historically, I mean, I'm trying to think. They did win that one year on... Uh, in yeah. the PSG run of days. But Lyon had a good team back in the day. Yeah. So that's what we decided on. We're going to lock in Lyon. We'll stick to Lyon. Boys, Lyon was a good shout. But on this list, Monaco has the most Ligue 1 titles with eight. That's, we didn't even mention Monaco. Yeah, wow. Those guys are dons, man. Don't, don't, don't hate on Monaco. Don't sleep on the Monegasque. They ain't even the same country, my brother. Varvar, it is our turn now. Let's roll. Let's get it. Six. A six. We miss our league token right there. But we do get a Serie A question, though. Now, boys, this question might look easy, but it, it's not that easy, to be honest. The question is, who is Cagliari's coach right now? Is it Gilardino, Ranieri, Pirlo, or Di Francesco? Barbara, let's get this out of the way. It is Claudio Ranieri. It is? Okay, yeah. Millie, I'm oh, glad whoa, you're on my whoa, team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm glad you're on my team. No, yes. Because currently, sure currently there was coach that got sacked, but it's not him. Okay, well, um, we'll, lock in. Sure yeah, we'll lock pretty in pretty sure Ranieri. Ranieri. Let's get it out of the way. Millie, that was so quick to answer Ranieri. Millie's got that Serie A ball knowledge on, on lock. But it was the correct answer. You guys get to keep moving. Var our Serie A knowledge, that's right up our alley. Let's get to the next roll. Var Millie Nation, let's ride. Oh, oh, ain't no way. Vamos, oh, little token, bring Barbar, it to us. Let's put that in that box. I'm about to give you the most diabolical question of all time. Just wait for it. We're waiting here, we're waiting. Did you pray to me? Because you got a hard question coming. Which English club achieved the best defensive record in Premier League history, conceding only 15 goals? Was it Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal, or Chelsea? Well, I mean, I'm, this is one of the easiest questions I think I've maybe seen on this channel ever. I mean, I got an answer, but you got an answer. This is obviously Jose Mourinho's Chelsea. The, those dons back in the day. Ricardo Carvalho, John Terry at the back? Too easy. I don't think it was a smart decision for him on the jersey wearing no, today. I might have given it away. But, okay, that's the correct answer. You guys obviously knew it. But do you know which goalie was there at that time? 
Peter Check. That was Peter Check, no? It was Peter Check. Helmeted Peter Check. Yep. So I think you guys, you guys get a piece of the pie. Vamos, let's get that piece. We take those. Put it in my box, Millie. <laughs> oh, you might get Bundesliga. I'll move it for you. I'll be a gentleman. Ain't no way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, no, no way. Two no in a row. Now you guys hit us with a title question before. Pala hit them with a title question now. And if they get this right, I'm going to be start hitting them. Which club has won the most Bundesliga titles after Bayern Munich? Is it A, Schalke, B, FC Nuremberg, C, Hamburger SV, or D, Dortmund? Well said. Now I'm going to start off with a wild shout. I think it's Hamburg. I, I was thinking the same thing. It's not Dortmund. Guaranteed not Dortmund. They would be, it would, this is too easy if it's Dortmund. Way too easy of a question. Unless they're doing reverse psychology here, but I, I highly doubt it. This is Pala and Firms we're talking about here. Could I be deceiving them by the obvious answer? We know what the obvious answer, we won't say it. And we won't say it, yeah. And there's, so there's the obvious one and the correct one. Are they the same? Loki, I think Nuremberg have a bit of history, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna discredit them, but-, but Even Schalke, man. Storied history. Yeah, but it would have been more news if they went to Bundesliga 2. I think if we both had the same connection for Hamburg, we're going to go Hamburg. We have no choice. Let's go Hamburger SV. From John, tell him or what, what do can, I tell him? Uh, somebody got to tell him. Boys. That is the incorrect answer. No peace for you. Who was oh, it? Nuremberg? No. Schalke. It was FC Nuremberg. Yeah. Oh, no. Vaga. I knew that, it. That second guessing. I knew it. That's oh. crazy. You almost had it. Like Yeah. I honestly, Nuremberg... Alexander Esvine, people remember him from FIFA, legend. That's class right there, Barbara. Exotic. Unfortunately, we didn't get our second league token of the day. Paolo and Firms, they get to roll next. The boys get a Bundesliga question, not for a league token though, just an easy question. It won't be pretty, I guarantee you that. I said I was a league earn specialist and then I was wrong. But we are a Bundesliga but we are specialist. Bundesliga specialist. Quite possibly. Let's see if that specialist is current day specialist. Which of these players is the youngest? Is it A. Xavi Simmons, B. Openda, C. Adeyemi, and D. Alfonso Davies? So, Openda is young, but he's not the youngest. We got Alfonso Davies definitely not there. I'm looking for the PSV shirt. Oh, I'm looking for the PSV shirt. Do, it's behind them. Because I'm pretty sure this is Xavi Simmons. I agree with Adeyemi, you. Adeyemi, I think, was maybe the youngest appearance or like before or after, before Tell, Tell started playing. Yeah, but I think it's for the German national team. But now, but now that Xavi Simmons came to the league, He's I think it's Xavi Simmons. 100% lock. Boys, that was too easy of a question for you. Xavi Simmons is the correct answer. You guys get to roll again. No, we easy keep moving. Peasy. We keep moving. Let's go. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. A league token. Is it normal that we're landing on them this much? So Pala, Firms, here is your token question. Which of these players never played for Everton? Is it A, Mustafi, B, Materazzi, C, Samuel Eto, or D, Victor Moses? Is this the actual hard question? Because in my head, it's not that difficult just think about it firms i don't know if you want me to just think about it you know what go through them Mus mustafi i don't know we'll leave him mustafi i don't know i Eto know for sure i know eto and materazzi we know materazzi because because you, you, millie told us the okay. other day i remember so we're between a and d and M now millie you're giving them information I, I was i didn't mean to it's between a and d now mustafi played at arsenal, arsenal valencia, valencia. And but I don't see him in a blue shirt. I don't see him in a blue shirt. Um, I see Victor Moses in a blue shirt, but that's Chelsea. It's Chelsea for sure. And he didn't play at other Prem clubs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's a lie. He had a loan move to Liverpool, also to Stoke City. Oh my God, he did play then. And none of those were blue, my friend. Yeah. Boys, we're going to need an answer. I'm pretty confident about this. I don't even know what you're going to say, A or D. You, you say it, I won't listen. Let's lock in Moses. Lock it in, Varvar. Inter Milan legend, Victor Moses is correct. He never played at Everton. That's my, that's my prem specialist, right? And here. we'll keep moving. Roll the dice. After you put it in the box. See? 
I think they're getting too confident here. That's, you hit him with three Inter Legends and they picked the correct one too. It might be closeted Inter fans. Kind of crazy. Oh, no. Oh. Collect $200, Paolo. Run me my check, bro. Boys, here is your Bundesliga question. Who on this list left RB Leipzig for the highest price? Was it A, Nkuku, B, Navi Keita, C, Timo Werner, or D, Dominic Soboslai? I know Soboslai and Nkuku, it's between them two. It's one of them, yep. Now, um, what, what, you tell me, what do you remember of Soboslai being? Of, of the price? Yeah, I say 65. I think a bit higher, but Nkunku is around there too. I think Nkunku is around 65 too. So it's just like, for me, it's a coin It's like, yeah, 50-50. Is this heads or tails? Where are we going? I think we leave it up to a dice roll. If we, if we roll a f four, five, or six, we go with Soba's so, Okay. Two. We're going with Nkunku. Nkunku. Lock in. Unfortunately, the dice did you no favors. Sobozai was the correct answer, but it wasn't for a token or anything, so you're okay. I mean, whatever. It's the, it's the way the dice rolls. Yeah, it's fate. Vavar, it's our turn. Let's roll that dice. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that so quick, Millie? Because I'm ready to get that Serie A question, big man. I got a light one for you guys. Which Serie A club plays its home matches at the Stadio Artemio Franchi. Is it A, AC Milan, B, AS Roma, C, Fiorentina, or D, Napoli? Oh man, this is way too easy, Varva. I don't know if you know your stadiums, but I know my stadiums. Which, what were the options again? We don't need to know the options. This is Fiorentina. Mm. Millie's confident yeah, with Millie's it. Millie's cooking today. That's the correct answer. This is, this is too easy, Varva. Any city out question, just send it my way. Millie, roll, roll a four here, and uh, we get to pick whichever league we want. Oh my oh. lord, no way. We didn't get La Liga, but Millie, we'll take that. We'll oh, take that. Oh, I'm cooking. We're cooking. That's kind of wild, bro. That's actually wild. And Millie's been cooking up with the Serie A questions, so we, we better make this hard. We're on a heater, Millie. This one's all you. So, Varmili, your hard Serie A question is, after Juventus, which of these following clubs has won the most Coppa Italias? Is it A, Roma, B, Lazio, C, Milan, D, Napoli? As an interdelegate, and the reigning champs of Coppa Italia. I could safely say that Roma is the one tied with Inter, so they have one less than Juve. Thank God you're here, Millie, because I probably would have said, I don't know, Lazio or some club like my, that. My first thought was Lazio, but cooler heads prevailed here. It is Roma. Millie, your thought process was correct. So it is Roma. And that means we get the Serie A League token. Let's put that in our box right now. Vamos. Ligar again. Let's work out that brain, Barbara. Ligar in question. Stinky, but I will be there no matter what. Who holds the record for the most goals scored in a singular Ligar season? Is it A, Kylian Mbappe, B, Thierry Henry, C, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, or D, Lionel Messi? Okay, well, we can cut out Messi. Why? Because it doesn't count. Not him. Thierry Henry was way too young. Zlatan or Mbappe, though. Now, retro retro people would say Zlatan. Zlatan him. had some monumental seasons in Ligue 1. Vavar, they are bringing up Zlatan to distract us. I honestly think it's Mbappe. I think it's Mbappe, too. This guy's been too much of a demon for too long. One of those seasons, he must have broken the record. Lock it in. Mbappe been breaking records. He's breaking every record possible, but... But never touched Zlatan's record of top goal scorer. The king. That's ridiculous. We, we should have known. This is, a, this is a firm's question written all over it. All over it. So over it that I wrote it. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Oh, just a... Landing on a La Liga space? Here's your La Liga question. Kieran Tierney joined which La Liga side this summer? Was it A, Real Betis, B, Valencia, C, Real Sociedad, or D, Sevilla? Varvar, you're asking the wrong person, okay? Arsenal couldn't get a spot, but he wants to play in a Champions League team. So that's why I went to Real Sociedad. Oh, lock it in then. Quick and easy, Pala. That's how we like it. That is the correct answer. Quick and easy, unless you don't want me to be. 
quick and easy. If you want us to sponsor your rice company or mac and cheese company, we got you. I wasn't talking about mac and cheese. Bro, basically sponsored it's his middle name. <gasps> no. <laughs> you get it. You still get a Serie A question. But not for a league token, though. We'll take it. What's the question? I have a feeling Ferbs is going to get this one. In honor of Olivier Giroud going in nets recently, which player did it for Inter in 2012 when their goalie got a red card? Was it A, Palacio, B, Nagatomo, C, Zanetti, or D, Kovacic? Palacio. Firms, are we locking in Palacio? What is that? That's it's a, a lock. lock. It's a lock. We'll lock it in. Varvar, it was too easy. Palacio is the correct answer. We're talking to two Serie A heads here. Just wait until they get that league on quadrant. We'll see. Let's see what they roll. 7-11. We need a 7-11. Oh, let's go. But what happens if we already have Premier League? Look, we didn't mention this in the rules. Or to me, apparently. But you can now pick whichever league you want. I'm eyeing that Serie A very hard. I want to get rid of Bundesliga because I despise Bundesliga. But are we going to get a Bundesliga one? I think we should get rid of Serie A because we're so far from it on the board. That's a good strategy. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yep. Varvar, give them that Serie A question. Now, everyone knows my Serie A team is Inter, but I am a bit of a Laziali at heart. So I'm going to go, who has the most appearances for Lazio? Is it A, Radu, B, Immobile, C, Malinkovic Savage or D, Felipe Anderson. Make it make sense. He's a Laziale at heart, but he's an Inter fan. Yeah, something doesn't line up there. I can be both. I mean, Laziale and Inter have a good connection. It's okay. No? That, that's valid. It that's works. That's valid. It works. Off camera, Firms was very persistent on Radu. Yep. SMS, it's not, it's not him. Get him out. Felipe Anderson. I don't know why, why Felipe is Anderson's not on the list. Uh, Immobile, he had control. like 230 appearances for Lazio. Lazio legend, Laziale. We're talking about big boys. Yeah. yeah. Immobile, the problem is he's been around town. Exactly, which makes you think that he's not been there enough. But you just kept saying Radu. So. Radu has been there since I was like eight. So and lock it in. Yeah. Firm seems like he may have it in the bag here, Varvar. The Romanian is the correct answer, Firm's. Congrats. Let's go. Put that in the box. Special. Me and Lazio have a very special connection. I mean, my first game was actually a Lazio versus Juve game. Not a CF Montreal game? If I speak, I'm in very big trouble. Boys, you get the roll. Not a Man United game? Not a match. Oh my god, he's on a match. Oh my god, he's on a match. game. Marshallah. La Liga question. Here's your question. Which of these players were most expensive for Real Madrid? Is it A, Vinicius, B, Luka Jovic, Milan legend, C, Rodrigo, and D, Kovacic? Now, the easy option would be Vinicius because historically speaking, their Brazilians have costed them quite a bit. Yeah, but I don't know. Can't be that obvious. Yeah, it's not that obvious. You said Jovic. I think Jovic, if I remember right, he was a very... Big well, price tag. Vinicius, I don't think, was more than 60. No, I agree. Jovic was how much? 50 something? I, I would say 50, yeah. That's wild. Rodrigo has to be less than these guys. Yeah, he's less than Vinicius. And who's the last one? The last one is Mateo Kovacic. Enter legend. I wouldn't pay more than a bag full of balls. Yeah. A buck 50. You're going to go with uh, Jovic? That's Jovic. wild to me. That would be my fourth guess, but let's go with Jovic. Let's do it. Your intuition did lead you to the correct answer. The Jovic, 61 mil, 62 mil maybe? Can't believe it. Frankfurt legend. From is your back all right? From carrying? From carrying the squad. Damn. Unfortunately, Jovic's back is not being hurt by carrying the Real Madrid squad. So. Milan, Milan player now, He's by carrying the, way. the Milan squad. Don't worry about it. Has he even made an appearance yet, Firms? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's just not really He's good not much. that good, yeah. Oh man. Firms, remember, remember when we said we should choose Serie A because we're the furthest from Serie A? <laughs> Look what happened. In the same turn, we got back to Serie A. This is, I cannot believe what I'm watching That's here. If, if we had an opportunity, Varvar, we would have swept the whole thing. They're not, they're not even letting us answer a question. What a shame. So what are you thinking, Paula? Liga, Liga or Bundesliga? Bundesliga. I, I have a hate, I have a hate, hate relationship with Bundesliga. They're tough, the question. So I think we should face them at the end. I think we should face Bundesliga the at the end. The final showdown, I yeah. agree. So, Liga for now. Let's do it. 
I don't think these boys are ready for a Ligar question, Varvar. A lot of people, there's a misconception with Ligar. They think it's just PSG, Marseille, Lille, Monaco. We're going, we're going south of France, Nice. Which of these players is not currently at Nice? Is it A, Salvatore Sirigu, B, Dante, C, Jeremy Boga, or D, Umtiti? We know the goalie, Sirigu. Sirigu, for sure. He's definitely there. We know Dante. Dante, for sure. The center back. Um, Boga, we think, we're pretty sure he moved from Atalanta to Nice. To Nice, yeah. I, Soon then just I'm leaves Umtiti. Sure. Which makes sense. So the logic. Um, but he did go to France, Umtiti. Yeah, from but Benevento. Not, but not Nice. I don't remember the black, red, no. you know. So okay. we'll lock in that. Umtiti. Umtiti. Vara, I don't know who wrote these Liga questions. They're a little too easy. They were a little bit too easy. Umtiti is the correct answer. He was actually a little. How did Umtiti get a, get a move after going to like a relegation Serie A team? Oh, he was a Lich, not Benevento. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he was pretty good. Box. He was pretty good. Yeah. Was Don. Are you sure it was in Benevento? It was. M Benevento or Lich? Lich. That's a four. That is a four. They do get a Premier League question. Let's get it. Give it to me. How many seasons did Gareth Bell play in the Premier League? Was it A, six, B, seven, C, eight, or D, nine? Millie, you're not nice for this one. I'm between seven and eight, but the only reason why I say eight is because he spent a year on loan at Spurs. True, you have to factor Which that in. may get it from to eight, but I'm pretty sure it's seven seasons owned by a Premier League club okay. playing in the Premier League. <sighs> okay, no, I'm just gonna go with eight. I'm gonna go with eight. We'll go with eight. There was some discussion there, but Gareth Bale played seven seasons in the Premier League, not eight. How do you, ah! how do you not know that? That's like common knowledge. Come on, yeah, come on. I, I did know it, but I don't know. You, you guys were throwing me off with your facial expressions. Millie, just, just throw the dice. Come on, let's go. We know what to do. We just missed the Liga token, unfortunately. The Bundesliga. Uh, hit us with it. This is, I don't think it's a difficult question. We'll see. But after German, what is the most common nationality seen in Bundesliga? Is it A, Austria, B, Dutch, C, French, or D, Swiss? Now, Millie, if you just look at all the top teams like Leipzig, Bayern Munich, who else is there? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, Bruce, yeah. Wolfsburg, Leverkusen, Dortmund. Yeah. I, I see a lot of French influence. Listen, there's always been French dons. But also, Bundesliga. yeah, but also the whole Austrian national team basically yeah. plays in the Bundesliga. But I think pure quantity, even Stuttgart and stuff have a lot of French players. We're going to go with uh, the, France. The, the, guts, the guts saying France. 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 Fingers crossed. Upa Meccano. So after German, it's close between French and Austrian, but the correct answer is French. Vamos. Oh, that means we got another roll. One. We're that, on a roll now. Roll it, Millie. Ain't no way. Vamos. Oh this, is the, this is a good time to get a low number, Varvar. The Bundesliga token. If we don't get this now, Millie, I think we're cooked. We need it in the box. Back to back Bundesliga question for the boys. We are sleeping, but Pala, what is the question? Which Bundesliga club is associated with the nickname Die Eisernen, or in English, the Iron Ones? Is it A, RB Leipzig, B, Bayern Munich, C, Borussia Dortmund, or D, FC Union Berlin? Union this has got to be Union Berlin, Union Berlin. No? Those, those guys are blue-collar workers right and now. And there's no way Dortmund... <laughs> wow, Millie, why'd you, why'd you group a whole population into no, that? They're hard workers, though. <laughs> um, but it just fits the brand of the club. Defensive football, I think it's Union Berlin. We'll lock it in. That was that was kind of quick. That was good. For absolutely no, <laughs> just no not the fact reason. that they're hard workers. Aura. And it's Aura, so. Well, the answer is Union Berlin. You guys got the piece. Leonardo Bernucci, man. That's a Derizen, I don't know, what did he say? Derizen track? track from Back Ops 3. <laughs> Comment if you know that. Bernucci's Derizen track, for sure. We're going to take that Bundesliga token right into the box. All right, guys, you got your Bundesliga token. Move on. Millie, how did you count this? <laughs> <laughs> Millie's the fastest thinking human being on planet Earth. I'm a quick counter. 
<laughs> Give me that Premier League question. <laughs> so it looks like Millie wants the question pretty quickly. So, who is the most valuable player from Newcastle according to transfer market? Is it Isaac, Tonali, Guimares, or Botman? Do you want to just rip off the band-aid? My, my Italian gut says it's Tonali. Well, that's a pretty big Italian gut. You, got. <laughs> you hear that sound it's making? That's called music. <laughs> How did you do that? I can't do it. Did you pray today? <laughs> um, but just real quickly, I'm gonna think. I, I think it's between Tonali and Isaac. I don't know if Bruno Gamerish or Botman got that juice. Definitely not Botman. Okay, speed it up here. We need an answer. I'm I'm okay with locking in Tonali. We're on the topic of Italian guts. Tonali Maybe. makes sense. Varmili. You were answering with your aura once again, but it is not the right answer. It's Bruno Guimaraes. They never even oh, wow. mentioned the right answer. The Syria bias hurt us this time. Yeah, really. that hurt, that, I apologize for that, but I would. I was not expecting Bruno Guimaraes. Oh. <laughs> <I bought it. laughs> we're good on this hey, side. Oh, 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 no. Violated. <laughs> Millie, yeah, Millie's violated. You know, Pat is had to rub his stomach. <laughs> Pala, go ahead and firms. Work. If we, you know what, let's do it together. We roll one dice each. Come. Oh, it's like that. Let's see if I can reach. Eleven. Premier League. Premier League. Boys, you have gotten Premier League once again, and here is your question: Which Premier League club has the most Player of the Season award winners? Is it A, Liverpool, B, Chelsea, C, Manchester City, or D, Manchester United? Come on. It's um, Cam it's Manchester United. Yeah. You guys dominated that stat for, and there's no Arsenal on that list? No. Not relevant enough. Well. <laughs> According to our calculations. Listen, Barbara's asking the question. Yeah. It's Manchester United. What else United. can it be? It's Manchester United. Lock it in. Barbara, they think this is your question, big man. This was Millie's question. That's Millie. my question. The Nerazzurri United connection here is kind of crazy. But Millie's a, Millie's a United rider. Yeah. I don't know about that. But Manchester United is the correct answer, boys. You get to roll again. We ain't riding nothing. Except Pause. for Ws. W's. Broncos Nation, let's ride. Let's ride. Broncos Nation. Let's ride. Let's ride. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> oh, actually, oh, I uh, thought he was joking. Yeah. He pump faked you. A little pump fake, but they do get the La Liga question. And a chance to win the entire the game. game. I can't look. Oh, I, oh, first. I didn't even realize. Because we have La Liga, we can go for the Bundesliga. And we left the Bundesliga for the last one. This is scary. Boys, to win the game, this is going to be a tough Bundesliga question. Which non-Bayern player is the most expensive transfer in Bundesliga history? Is it A, Josko Gvardial to Red Bull Leipzig? B, Lois Openda to RB Leipzig? C, Julian Draxler to Wolfsburg? Or D, Usman Dembele to Dortmund? We ain't letting you off easy. Openda, I'm not too familiar, but I know he was over 30. Yeah, let's put some price tags down that we know for sure. Do you know any for sure? Um, we just said Openda, maybe 40 mil. Okay, I, I'd agree with that. 40 mil. Vardiol, definitely less. Vardiol is definitely sure. less. Like I'm yeah. thinking 20 something. Yeah, not even. Um, who's left? Uh, Draxler. Draxler, I know was expensive. I know it was more expensive than Openda. I know it was more expensive than Vardiol. He was who's a the prospect. other option? Boys, the last player was Dembele. Never heard of this guy. Never, ever. Wow, we just forgot about Dembele. Yeah, but well. Uh, Dembele, if I'm not mistaken, was in the 30s. Okay, I don't Cause know. Because I remember that being wild once he sold later on yeah. in his career. Um, so I'm really feeling Draxler was the first thing I thought of. I, think, I know that's Wolfsburg's top fee ever. For sure. Is he second? Listen, we'll take the I chance. said my piece. I said Draxler. I'm good with taking the chance. Yeah? I'll take the risk. For the win, we're locking in Julian Draxler. Vara, this is a big decision from them. Uh, we're giving you a second chance, are you sure? Just because you said that, I'm sure. 
They're doubling down. I'm giving you a third chance. Are you sure? No, we're sure. Varvar, I think they're pretty sure on Draxler. Ah, no, it's fine. Ah. But you know what? That was the correct answer. You guys get the last league token and win the game. You have filled Did your you box. Did you pay it? Did you pay it? No! Put it in. Firms, grab your side. Fill your box. My box is full. Full to the brim. It can't take anymore. I can't take it anymore. Just give us this W. <laughs> Well, at this point, just give them the double. We can officially close the box. Let's seal it. Oh! They just got lucky with the dice. They got lucky with the picks. It's true. Whatever. But Anyways, we'll see you guys next week. And uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. See you guys next week. Do I get to keep this box? No, you don't. Ciao.